the boards. Bounces away from Subban, back to center ice. The speed of Hagelin, he's home free! He puts it home! Carl Hagelin into the empty net, the Pittsburgh Penguins on the way to a second consecutive championship. from behind, drop the puck off, here comes Myers, centering, side of the net, they score! Another change to Stastny line coming on, Stastny back and scores! For the fourth time in these playoffs. Look at that body language with that skate going into the room, your biggest game of your life. First game seven in Nashville history. Sing it again. Drops for Radulov. Radulov a pass, Klingberg! Nashville, GM Superb Man has arrived in the Music City, and it's time to finally bring a Stanley Cup to the Nashville Predators. I was thinking hard about which team I wanted to use for NHL 23, and I've never done the Nashville Predators. A lot of people wishing for other teams, but you know what? I love the challenge that this team presents. Um, should we hold on to the older core, guys like Roman Yossi, and try to win a Stanley Cup with them? They're full of guys who are in their early 30s, mid 30s, or should we just trade them all right now while they have the highest trade value and go on a full rebuild? This is what's great about this series. I get to talk with the fans on Twitch right now. As you can see, they're showing how um, <laughs> how respectable they are and mature they are, uh, but also the YouTube comments, all right? After every episode, I'll be combing through all the comments, and we all together get to figure out how to help the Nashville Predators win the Stanley Cup. So this first episode, we're not going to do too much. I'd like to get everyone on the same page. I'd like to get up to speed. We can maybe do a month of simulating, but no trades, no big movements, nothing like that. So first, let's take a look at our team, shall we? The Nashville Predators in year number one. All right, so we'll start from the back end. You know what? In fact, I think there's a better screen to look at this from, the trade screen, the proposed trade screen. I won't have to uh, filter out the, uh, the prospects or anything like that. So first off, we have just under $4 million of cap space. We're at 79.3. The salary cap is 82.5. All right, that's good to know. So we have a little bit of flexibility for some moves in year number one. Our goaltender situation, UC Soros. All right, so it's no longer Pekka Rene. It's UC Soros now. He's the franchise goalie for the Nashville Predators. And I like what I see, 89 overall. Uh, exact elite potential. He's got five X factors. Um, he's got five-star reflexes, five-star puck control. Oh, hell yeah. And he's only 27 years of age. So forget about this guy going into the future. He's only going to be signed for another three years. We could sign this guy to an extension for like five or six after that. UC Saros could be our goaltender for like the next eight years. So that's good. That's taken care of. Uh, but remember the year length because this is the key with this team. The window is tight. Lankinen as our backup. Yaroslav Askarov, a draft pick in 2020. Um, I won't fool you guys. EA Sports didn't put him in the game, so me and the Twitch fans, we created him. I wanted to make sure that we didn't have an OP goaltender, and it actually looks like UC Soros is the better option. UC's only seven years older than him. So Askarov at 66 overall, high starter potential with a handful of X factors. We're going to have to grow this guy in the AHL, maybe one day in four or five years. Maybe it's time to move on from Saros, and Askarov could be our goaltender. All right, that's the only change we made. We have the EA Sports roster up date as of October 18th and we have changed nothing else defenseman man this might be the second best defenseman in the league maybe the third best behind Hedman and Kale McCarr 
Roman Yossi, but this is what I'm talking about. 32 years of age. Now, he's fantastic. He's got the exact franchise potential. And that means that he's going to be good for at least this year and next year. Because even if he drops his potential down to elite, he'll keep that 93 overall. So we can use a Roman Yossi till he's 34. But do you want to hold on to him when he's 35? 36? 37? Should he retire here being the captain? Or do you move on from him? Because that's a hell of a lot of trade value, and you could get a lot back for him. Matthias Ekholm, 32 years of age, four years left. Ryan McDonough, acquired from the Tampa Bay Lightning, 33 years of age, four years left. So you can see what I'm talking about. We got some real good players here, but are we past our championship window? You see other teams like the Colorado Avalanche winning the Cup, and look at their stars. McKinnon, like 27. Kale McCarr, 23. Our guys are in their 30s. And the trade value is only going to go down from there. Uh, Dante Fabro's in there. Uh, a Carrier. Who was his first name? Alexander Carrier. All right, so some younger defensemen, but 83, 81, medium top four. Uh, Lausanne, oh my God, $2 million per year for the next four years. So you can see what the former GM of Nashville did. They put this team into a championship window of, I don't know, two to four years, essentially. Borowicki, Gross. Gravel, do we have any prospects? We have no prospects. So that's a big problem on the defensive blue line. Uh, no young players up and coming. Basically, what we have is what we have. It's not, there's nothing. There's no reinforcements on their way. But we do have some studs. Roman Yossi, 93 overall. We could get a lot for him. So if I put him out there... No, you know what? Let's not do that yet. I don't want to confuse the fans. I was going to see what we could get for him just to spark some interest. But let's go through the rest of the team. Uh, right wingers, Nito Niederreiter. Four mil for another two years. 30 years of age. Uh, Philip, Philip Tomasino. 81 overall, medium elite. When was this guy drafted? In the 2019 draft at 24th overall. He looks like he could be real good. 21 years of age. We got to grow this guy in year number one. And it looks like he can play on the first line. Philip Tomasino, playmaker. All right. So there's some youth right there. But he's going to have to have a contract in two years, right? So the window closes even further. Colton Sissons, four years left at 2.8. Sherwood, 78. McCarron, uh, Camel. Oh, here we go. I know this is a good draft pick, right? In the 2022 draft, 17th overall, Joaquim Kemmel. So he's got himself the medium elite potential at 69 overall. And what is he, a sniper? A sniper. So with Tomasino, a playmaker. Kemmel, a sniper. 21, 18 years of age. We actually do have some young prospect support for our forward core, unlike our defensive core. So that's it for the right wingers. Left wingers, Philip Forsberg. All right, so um, the good news is that they extended him eight years at $8.5 million, 28 years of age. I look at this guy the same way I look at UC Soros. You know, one is 27, one is 28. These guys could be your one-two punch, or not a one-two punch necessarily, but just faces of your franchise in terms of the one-two punch for like the next six-plus years, right? We can hold on to Philip Forsberg. He's going nowhere. There's no point. That's a real good deal. And what does he look like? Oh, hell yeah. He's a two-way forward with Schnipe. As his uh, X Factor. So that'll probably help the power play. He could be our go-to guy for sure. Offensive awareness is up there. Uh, his shooting is up there. Yeah, we got to find a way to get Philip Forsberg at plus five on the first line. Uh, top six. Who's this guy? Tanner Genot. 81 overall. Mid-20s on a good contract. All right, so just a depth player. Um, Eli. Eli. Eli or Eli? Eli. Eli Tolvanen. I'm just going to go with Eli Tolvanen. 81 overall, medium elite, another sniper. So just like Kemmel, we got another guy. Now, this guy's already 23 years of age, 81. A little bit like Tomasino, who was the uh, playmaker. But Tomasino's two years younger. At 23 years of age, at medium elite, we got to get this guy going now. We got to get Tolvanen scoring goals now. Maybe I, if I can get him playing on the first line with Forsberg, we got to get him up there now so that that medium elite doesn't drop down to a top six. Because we could see him grow to like maybe 84, 85 if I get him on the right line, on the right season. Uh, Zach Sanford, Mark Jankowski. Is his first name Mark? Yes, it is. All right, my memory is not horrible. Uh, John Leonard. So just a bunch of depth players here on easy contracts. Um, low top six forward, 21 years of age, drafted in the second round. Igor Afinasev. Uh, maybe becomes something. The thing about power forwards is... Combine him with the playmaker and sniper, you can always get a plus five. So he doesn't need to be a good player. I could turn him into a good player. Low top six, he could still be like an 82, 83 overall if I get him on the right line. And then the center core, we got Matt Duchesne. Again, 31 years of age, four years left. Uh, Granny Smith, Mikhail Grandland. 
Um, 30 years of age, three years left. Uh, Ryan Johansson, 30 years of age, three years left. You see the trend that I'm talking about. This team needs to be winning right now. They have to be. But are they good enough to beat the top teams in the NHL like the defending Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche? How about the Tampa Bay Lightning before them? You know, were they on that same level? Uh, Cody Glass, he's got the low elites. I got to get him playing right now. Uh, Novak, Huntington, and LaRue. This guy looks like he was pretty good. Yeah, drafted in the first round in 2021. Two-way forward, medium top six. He could be a bottom top six forward for us in the future. All right, so when I look at this team... If we sort by overall all the players, 32 years of age, 28, 31, 32, 30, 30, 33, 30. So the first question I pose to the YouTube comments is what's the best choice? Should we try to win a Stanley Cup with these guys and keep on adding? Or should we just blow it up and send these guys to other teams and start with young guys and their in their teens still, guys in their low 20s, you know, this is an older team for sure. The Twitch chat is saying fire, sell, rebuild. Well, we can absolutely give year one a shot. That's for sure. It's just after year one, how much further do you want to go? You can really only get two years in before you got to trade a guy like Ryan Johansson or Granny Smith. And then Duchesne and Ekholm are going to be 33 and 34. Yeah, like the window is not long on this team. What about draft picks? What do we got? We got our first. We got two thirds, two fourths. Next year, we got our first. Year after that, we got our first. All right, so good news. The Nashville Predators have not traded away any first round picks starting from 2023 and onward. So uh, we're going to be able to use the draft. Very nice. All right, looks good. So let's take a look at the lines. What can we get going right now? Um, ooh, the head coach can help. No, thank you. Ooh, I can get a plus five on this first line. Philip Forsberg with Matt Duchesne. Now, if I take Duchesne out of there, I get a zero. So Duchesne and Forsberg got to play together. But I wanted to get, was it Tolvanen? Yeah, Tolvanen is 23 years of age. If I get Tolvanen on that first line, so wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! It's a plus five. All right, so I can get Tolvin and playing up there immediately so that we can take care of his medium elite potential, right? Uh, second line, Nino Nita Ryder, Granny Smith. Who else did I want to get in there? Colton Sissons. I got to get used to all this. Scratch players, Borowicki. Man, I think the other guy, Tomasino, is still down there in the AHL, is he? Tomasino, yeah, Tomasino is down there. Tomasino at 81 overall. He should be in the NHL, correct? He's got to be in the NHL. Two years left. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we will edit these lines in a second. I've got the contracts taken care of. Uh, free agency, if you guys think that there's any free agents that we can go out there and sign, you let me know. Uh, Alex Formenton, 23 years of age, although he's an RFA, so we'd have to give up something for that. But uh, Rask, Ennis, DeKaiser, Joe Thornton, uh, Bozak, Eric Stahl, you know, if there's anything that we need to fill up the lines, you guys let me know about that. Uh, next up, higher staff. I'll take a look at the staff in a second. Um, let's take a look at the draft class. Yeah, the upcoming draft class for year number one. It's another thing. Should we be trading guys to get, uh, oh, Connor Bedard. Bedard, how do you pronounce his name? Ooh, franchise player more than likely. Going first overall. That would be real nice for the Nashville Predators to get. Just a, a, a stud up front that can be your guy for the next 15 plus years, right? But that would mean that we have to trade away a lot of our other guys. Renz, uh... Koz, have Nikov, <laughs> a lot of forwards, Kovalev defenseman, a lot of forwards in this upcoming draft, which is good for us. Okay, okay, looks good. So, in this video, what I'd like to do is all of the boring stuff, all right? And the boring stuff starts off with the coaching staff, hiring scouts and assigning the scouts. Now, our head coach, Laflemme, is a defensive coach, his overall is B. Let's take a look. Offense is A+. Plus. Offense is A+. Plus. That's really good. So the simulation is going to be good. We're not going to be able to keep the puck out of the net. Power play ain't great. Our penalty kill is good. But he also teaches. So this guy will be able to help de uh, develop younger players. Um, McDonough doesn't like the team. Janot likes the team. It's kind of all over the place. It's not great. So are there any other head coaches that are better than B quality? Not really. So we're stuck with, the, we're stuck with these guys for at least year number one. So we're not going to touch anything there. Now the scouts. Let me see what I got here. I got four NHL scouts, four AHL scouts. I got a WHL scout, OHL, QMJHL, US West, US East, uh, Extra Liga, SHL, Russia. I need some more European scouts. So I can get three more scouts. So that's what we're going to do right now. 
Um, I want to get make sure that I scout the crap out of this year's upcoming NHL entry draft. So European scout, yeah, you 30. Here you go. Here you go. Watch this. C overall is the highest, but I'll get the youngest guy I can, 31 years of age. Bang. All right, five years, sure, just sign him. And then another guy, Europe, six years, just sign him, bang. And uh, we already had one in the SHL. We had one in uh, Finland as well. Let's get another Russian scout, shall we? Uh, 32 years of age, Leb Lebedev, boom. Might as well use as much as we can for scouts, okay? So we'll get those guys signed. And I'm actually going to do the boring stuff and send the scouts out individually. Uh, line changes, we won't worry about that. Uh, injury report, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're good. So let's simulate a few days and just get the scouts in. The new salary cap has, uh, has been applied. We're right there at the top. Uh, we got our, one of our scouts signed, two of our scouts signed, and three of our scouts signed. Beautiful. All right, so we got the scouts signed under our team. So now I'm going to have to do the boring part, but we can use power of video editing for this. All right, all of the scouts, I'm going to go through myself. I'll show you what it, what it means. I got to click on this guy. I go to scout specific players, correct? And then, yeah, and then I got to delete all the players that he's currently scouting. I don't know why the hell they'd be scouting debt players like this. And I want them to all immediately get the potential in comparison for the guys in the top 90. All right, bang. So I've got to do that for every single scout that we have. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Power of video editing, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that was nice and boring. The Twitch fans had to sit through it with me, but we are complete. I have sent out the scouts for Russia, for the, um, for the Finnish League, the Swedish League, Europe, US, and the CHL. And we have targeted players in the first three rounds, okay? So my plan is I'm going to send out the scouts now. When they finish, they're going to do their own auto-scouting. Then I'm going to send them out again on January 1st. And when they finish, they'll do more auto-scouting. And then the last time I send them out is at the end of the season. So we'll have three different sets of scouts going after the top 90 players. And hopefully we can find some real studs. Because as the Nashville Predators, we're going to have to get some depth draft picks. I feel like we're in Tweenersville, right? So even if we miss the playoffs, we're going to just miss the playoffs and not really give ourselves a chance at a, a real high draft pick. So we're going to have to find some studs. All right, so I want to get some simulating done. Uh, if we're going to do that, then we got to start editing the lines. we got to figure out who's going to be up on the NHL team and who's going to be in the AHL squad. So, whoa, this is all new. I used to be able to hit the Y. What the hell? I can change the strategies from here? Interesting. Okay, so how do I bring up the best lines or switch to the AA roster moves? There you go. All right, so I left click and then I go into it. So let's uh, get the rosters good. UC Soros and Lankinen going to be our two goaltenders from the A NHL. Uh, Askarov, Cooley, and Vamaka going to be our goaltenders from the AHL. That looks good for me. So Askarov is going to start in the AHL. We got to get him playing well. I don't know. Should we get? You guys think we should get a goaltender ahead of him? Like, should he just be a backup in the AHL? His role is other goalie. If we're going to grow this guy, i got to make sure he's in the right spot. As a starting position, will he fail? I, that could be an interesting one. Or maybe I'll just go to free agency and sign a bunch of guys for the AHL. Hmm. Well, I'm waiting for your comments. What do you guys think? Uh, we'll leave that the way it is right now. NHL, we got Roman Yossi, Ekholm, McDonough, Fabro, Carrier, Lazan, and Borowicki. Borowicki's on a one-way contract. Is there anyone down here on the two-way? All right, so I can bring these guys up if anyone gets injured. That looks good to me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have our seven defensemen. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fine. I need two more forwards up here. So we'll go to the AHL. Tomasino's gotta play. He's gotta play this year. We gotta we gotta get him playing. And then two-way contract. Sherwood's only got the one-way contract. So if I bring him up now. Yeah, I'll bring up Sherwood. All right, because all the other guys, Jankowski's on a two-way, Leonard's on a uh, two-way, McCarron's on a two-way. If we have injuries, I can bring these guys up and send them back down and not have any problems. Kemmel. Kemmel, I'd love to find, like, a first-line center for Kemmel in the AHL. That You know what? I think I might that might be the first move I do. Um, how much? How do I check that again? Hang on a second. Uh, best AHL lines. Don't worry about that. How many roster spots do we have on this team? Proposed trade. How many roster spots do I have? I have seven roster spots, so I could literally get like three forwards and two defensemen for our AHL squad. I think I might want to do that. I think I might want to do that because we have guys in the AHL that we want to start growing immediately. All right, so actually I might be able to do that in this video. 
So first up, let's do the best lines for the AHL or for the NHL squad. Uh, head coach preferred lines, not called best lines anymore. All right. So Forsberg with Duchesne and Granny Smith, a plus five. Now, I want to make sure that, uh, where is he? Tolvanen. He's 23. I want to make sure that that elite potential doesn't get wasted and we maintain the plus five. Now, he's a left wing playing on the right wing, but it's still a plus five. It's fine. And he is a sniper with a playmaker and a two-way forward. That's a beautiful first line. Second line. Now, Tomasino. He is a third scoring line forward. Uh, he actually fits better on the second line, though. So, let's try to get him up on the second line. Uh, Ryan Johansson is also a playmaker. Is there anyone I can put here with a plus one? Eee. Now, if I put Tomasino up there, it also the plus five. So, this is the problem. Should we be moving guys around to try to get a plus? Sissons gets in there. He gets a plus. Oh, our team is all over the place. All right, so if I'm going to play Tomasino, he's got to play on the third line because I don't want to play him past what he's capable of doing. We're going to get Ryan Johansson in there. Granny Smith has got to get up there on the right side. And then we need, like, a sniper. Nino need a rider. That's the one. All right, so right wing, left wing, Ryan Johansson and Granny Smith. It's a good top six. It is. That plus five really helps our first line. The second line is pretty good. Tomasino now. All right, so Tomasino is the playmaker. Um, I want, like, a, a two-way forward and a power forward beside him. So Trennan, Yakov Trennan, two-way forward. Good face-off taker. Ooh, he's really good on the second line, though. Doesn't help anything out, though. No, no, we're just going to leave him there. And then maybe, like, a... A Zach Sanford, or what's Sanford? Is he a grinder? Oh, he's a grinder. He's not a power forward. Uh, Janet, left wing, grinder, another grinder. And Sherwood, two-way forward. Hmm, Colton Sissons is a what? Two-way forward. I should probably just leave Colton Sissons there. It's actually not that bad the way it is. Uh, and then Sherwood, you could play center, so there you go. Uh, no, no, wait. Sissons can play center. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sherwood's going to go over there. Hmm. Grinder, and then I have the grinder. I have the grinder. Colton Sissons is a center. Sherwood is a two-way forward. I could put, actually, I could put, yeah, yeah, I could put Sissons there. There you go. That's a little bit better. All right, so there's the lineup the way it is right now. But who are the scratched forwards? We got Cole Smith and oh, Cody Glass. I got to find a way to get Cody Glass in there. If there's any chance that Cody Glass can grow, we got to try to get him. Hey, man, he's not a good face-off taker as a center. Hmm. What do you guys think? Probably better than Kiefer Sherwood. So let's get Cody Glass in there. There you go. And can I move him up? Minus one. So Cody Glass, I really don't think we're going to be able to turn Cody Glass into anything. Like if I move him up to like the second line, no. First line, I can get him a plus five on the first line. But I'd rather grow Tolvin in and Tomasino. So Cody Glass, when was he drafted? Sixth overall in 2017 by the Vegas Golden Knights. That's brutal, man. We're not giving him any chance to grow, and it's just, it is what it is. Maybe he can move up if we have some injuries, but Cody Glass is the man out. It just is. Uh, scratch player. So we have Sherwood and Smith now scratched. I like that. Uh, defensively, Roman Yossi. What's his favorite line? Ugh, this head coach is not liking us. Can I get any kind of plus? I can't get a single plus on the first line. So if I play Dante Fabro as the young guy, that could get better. Although I want to play McDonough a little bit higher up here. Go you and you. There, there it is. There you go. So Ekholm and McDonough, both left defensemen, but whatever. They're going to switch. And actually, I can even move up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ekholm and Yo Roman Yossi. There you go. Because we got to get our best players with the most ice time. So Roman Yossi with uh, Ekholm. And you know what? Roman Yossi's got that clap bomb. Thunderclap. I'm going to put him on the right side. All right? If anyone can handle it, it's him. Uh, Ekholm and Roman Yossi, McDonough and Fabro and Lazon and Carrier. Carrier flips to this side. Who do we have scratched as a defenseman? Mark Borowicki. That's fine. He can stay there. So that's basically our team. Oh, even strength, that is. On paper, it looks good. I mean, the Nashville Predators should look at themselves as a playoff team, but are they a Stanley Cup contender? They need a forward like a Roman Yossi. That's what they need. They need a 93 overall guy with a Philip Forsberg, and that's it. They're definitely a tweener squad. So power play. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's the new look power plays. Plus five. I'm liking that. So if I'm to arrange this power play, I put Roman Yossi in the 1-3-1 top, uh, top of the blue line. Forsberg is my one-timer, so I'm putting him there. Uh, Matt Duchesne, he could play on the left side there. Uh, Tolvanen, actually, you know what? Tolvanen can play on the left side there. Because, yeah, looks like Matt Duchesne actually has big tipper. So put him in the middle of the ice so he can tip that shot from Roman Yossi. And then Granny Smith down low. 
that looks good for me now can i edit the yeah you can do this one the new roles oh my god distributor finisher puck carrier so i want my finisher to be forsberg with schneid i want my distributor to be roman yossi yeah send it and my puck carrier can be uh Roman Yossi as well. Roman Yossi can just... Yeah, you know what? Roman Yossi is our franchise defenseman. Roman Yossi can carry the puck in, and he can friggin' distribute the puck to Forsberg. All right? Face-off formation. Aggressive fight. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, offensive pressure. All right, cool. That's cool that you can change that. Now, I wonder if that actually affects the simulation or if it's just gameplay. Well, just thought of another video. I'll do that uh, the next week or so. Power play number two. Minus three! Holy shit, that is not good. All right, so what do we do? Hmm. Okay, so we got Ekholm out there. Let's uh, take Janot off and let's go with uh, let's go with two defensemen on our second line because we know that Ryan McDonough's got some of those X factors. There you go. That helps it out a lot. Uh, Ryan McDonough shoots left. You shoot left as well. Ryan McDonough. He's got the defensive side of things. So we'll put him over there. Nino Niederreiter, Tomasino, and Ryan Johansson. So I wanted to get. Tolvanen and Tomasino. Niederreiter, Grandlin, and... Yeah, but I should probably just use Niederreiter. Who was... Was Grandlin on the first line power play? Yeah, Grandlin was on the first line power play. Is there any way I can get, like, uh, Tolvanen and Tom... If, is there any way I can get Tomasino in there? Hang on a sec. Tomasino. And it's still plus five. Ooh! It still is plus five. So we can get two of our young guys that we need to score points. Tolvanen and Tomasino in there and maintain the plus five. And that allows us then to take Tomasino out. He's not getting any boost in the second line. But just give it to the naturally better uh, 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 Granny Smith, who's already 85 overall. There you go. Granny Smith, you can go down there. Ryan Johansson, you can go there. McDonough, Ekholm, Nita Ryder. I might as well flip you over to this side. Do we have a right-handed shot? Grant, uh, Marcus Johansson there. Nita Ryder, you can go down there. Yeah. And then Nita Ryder can be in the middle for that right-handed pass from the 1-3-1. Granny Smith, left-handed. Yeah, our power play on the second line isn't great. If you guys have any suggestions, you let me know. We're going to leave it there for now. Four-man power play. All right. Duchesne, Tolvanen, Roman Yossi, Forsberg. Yeah, that looks good. Left, Tolvanen, and Duchesne. Yeah, there's no problem with that lineup. And then the second line, uh, Ryan Johansson, Ekholm. Oof, this is bad. Instead of Nita Ryder, we got to get McDonough. McDonough's X-Factors helps out the chemistry. Not really, actually. Yikes. All right, so our second line power play is in shambles. So when we start to... Look at what we need for the future. We need some we need some power play specialists for the second line. Although, our first line power play does have a plus five. And they're going to get most of the ice time. So that's good. So I can leave that the way it is right now. Penalty kill. All right. So what do we got in here? Uh, Roman Yossi and Ryan McDonough on the first line penalty kill. I'm fine with that. Uh, Colton Sissons. Can we give Cody Glass any ice time here? Cody Glass. Does that hurt us? He doesn't like the penalty kill. Trennan. Uh, let's put him alongside of, yeah, Colton Sissons. He was already there. There you go. All right, so we could get better penalty killers for this team as well. Whoa, you can have three penalty killing lines now? Oh, my God. That's going to be, oh, I'm not going to have any room for this. Sanford and, uh, I'll go Trennan. Was Trennan on the first line? No, yeah, oh, there you go. So Sanford and Trennan, Lazone and Ekholm. No, we'll go, uh, uh, instead of Lazone, let's go, uh, uh, Fabro, and then the third line can be Carrier and uh, and uh, what's his name? Lazone. There you go. Janot Glass. Fuck. Janot is what? A grinder? He's a winger though, so I'll flip him to that side. And then I already got Cody Glass in there, so I'm going to need him on the center. Uh, Trenton I've already used. I might as well use Granny Smith as a two-way forward on the third line. Yeah. Minus three. Ooh, that's brutal. How is it a minus three? These two guys love it. It's just that guy doesn't. Two-way forward? Maybe because the offensive defenseman? Offensive defenseman, yeah. Is Carrier an offensive defenseman? Yeah, he is. Oh, well. There's three penalty killing lines. I have to use all my defensemen now. Uh, Three-man penalty kill. All right, so Trennan, McDonough, Yossi, sure. Sissons, Ekholm, Lazan, sure. And then Carrier, Fabro, and uh, and uh, Glass. Yeah. So just basically going with our two-way forwards on the penalty kill. Got to give Cody Glass my time. Four on four. Jesus, there's so many more lines to create this time around. Uh, the center, Forsberg, Favreau. Yeah, that looks good to me. Four and four, line number two. Ryan Johansson, Granny Smith, Ekholm, and McDonough. Yeah, we want to use our best players for four on four. And then last but not least, we'll use we'll use Cody Glass here. 
Uh, wait, did I use Granny Smith and... Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Cody Glass and I'll whip out Tolvanen. Yeah, Tolvanen. There you go. Actually, to hell with Cody Glass. He's not going to be anything. Let's bring out Tomasino. I think Tomasino can play center, right? Tomasino is the center. Yeah, so Tomasino and Tolvanen on the, the fourth line. Or the third line, four on four. Three on three. Forsberg, Duchesne, Yossi. Granny Smith, Johansson, Fabro. Uh, instead of Fabro, let's go McDonough. Sorry, Fabro. I uh, gotta love those X Factors, though. They're gonna be the difference maker for us this year. And then three on three lines. Uh, we're gonna go back with our two young guns, Tolvanen and Tomasino. God damn it! I'm getting. I have to get used to this. Tomasino, bang. Nice, nice. Extra attackers. I'm going to put Forsberg first. Roman Yossi is an extra attacker. I never like to have forwards. I mean, a defenseman as my extra attacker. So I'm just going to throw in Duchesne. All right. How many goals, by the way, did Duchesne have last year? He had 40, right? Oh, my God. He had a great year for Nashville. All right. So let's see if we can build on that, Matt Duchesne. You got a plus five on that first line. Shootout. We got Forsberg, uh, Duchesne, uh, Tolvanen. I'll get, I'll get Roman Yossi still in there, but I got to get Ryan Johansson. There you go. Ryan Johansson in there. Uh, and then Granny Smith. I just want my best players. All right, Granny Smith. Every point matters. All right, Roman Yossi. Good. Uh, goaltenders, UC Soros and Lankanen. And then the scratch players look like that. All right, beautiful. AHL. All right, so here's where it gets fun. Uh, head coach preferred line. So we have Kemmel here. Now, what line is Kemmel like? Kemmel likes the first line. Schaller is a grinder. Yeah, see, here's the thing. So we got to find we got to find somebody to play alongside of Kemmel. Is there anyone else that I want to find? No. So we just need, if he's a sniper, we got to find a playmaker power forward for the first line here. And then defense, uh, Gravel, Gross, McEwen, Willsby, Thompson, Prokop. I could use two defensemen just so these guys ain't shit. So two forwards, two defensemen, and that can help out Askarov as the starting goaltender. All right. Uh, Evan Jalesta is good. Top six low. Uh, he's top six low. I mean, yeah, you're right. He is 68 overall. All right, I'll move him up in the lineup a little bit. But I just want to sign some free agents first. All right, so let's go through this first. Uh, free agency, shall we? So a power forward and a playmaker for my uh, for my center core. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Two-way forward playmaker, Joe Thornton. He could help Kemmel. And I could always bring up Jumbo Joe. Hell yeah, let's do it. Jumbo Joe Thornton going down there to play in the AHL. And also a guy that I could bring up if anything happens to one of our players in the NHL season. Jumbo Joe Thornton, he can play with Kemmel. And then I need a power forward on the left side. Uh, power forward, power forward, power forward, power forward. Damn, dude. Power forward all the way down here. 74, McKenzie. Do we have a better power forward on the right? Here we go. Chason. Alex Chason. James Neal. James Neal probably gets a lot. And former Nashville Predator, right? Yeah, his last season was all the way back there in 2016, 2017. I'm bringing him back. James Neal, come back to Nashville, baby. We need you. Yep, yep, yep. Doing it, doing it. Uh, now I just need two defensemen. Maybe like an offensive defenseman to help out on the power play. Uh, Sammy Vatanen is available, huh? Glenn Denning. Yeah, I'm going to take Vatanen. Get all these friggin' get all these uh, veterans to help out our squad, and then Julius Honka, 26, 23, Ferrance, Ellie, yeah, I'll take you, lefty, boom. Oh, former Nashville Predator as well, boom, perfect. <laughs> all right, so that's that. Now, should we get a backup goaltender, or should we get a starting goaltender for the AHL, or should it just be Askarov? What do you guys think? I don't know what would be better. YouTube, I'm waiting for Twitch to comment right now because I want to make sure Askarov plays, but is he getting starting time? Is that actually going to affect AHL starter? Starter? He wants him. Okay, so they want him starting. All right, so we're not going to go with the goaltender situation. All right, I hear you loud and clear, Twitch. All right, so advanced day. Don't worry, YouTube. I'll be reading your comments as well, and if you think that Askarov could use a starting goaltender in the AHL, you let me know, all right? So, Ference is on the team, Joe Thornton's on the team, James Neal's on the team, Sammy Vatnin's on the team. Beautiful. All right, so now we can go back to edit lines. They should be as part a part of the AHL squad. So, let me just go back down here. Uh, even strength scratch players. Vatnin, Neal, uh, 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 Thornton. Perfect. All right, so let's edit these lines now. Uh, head coach preferred lines. Yes, yes. So, if I leave Joe Thornton there. I put Kemmel there, and I put James the Real Deal Neil there. Damn, I still don't get anything. They got good chemistry, but I think you might need uh, 
You might need an X Factor to get the plus one. Damn, I don't even get a plus. That's crazy. Yeah, they've changed it. All right, so I won't be able to do it like I did it before. And I don't think there was any free agents with the X Factors. But still, it's still a better line for him to be playing on. All right. Uh, Jankowski, Schaller, Leonard. You guys wanted Evangelista up there. So I'll move him up there. Yeah, that's all fine. Scratch players. Is there anyone that I should be? LaRue. We should be starting LaRue. Yeah, we should be starting LaRue. So Huntington, you're off. All right, we're going to get LaRue in there. He had uh, medium top six potential. Uh, who else? Uh, Pro Cop, Bob Bouchard, 23, no. McCarran, no. Uh, Parsonen, no. Bottom, no. Matier, top six. Don't really care about that. No. Thompson, no, no, no. All right, so none of these guys are anyone that we have to worry about. It's just uh, Evangelista, uh, LaRue, and Kemmel that we're worrying about as our forward core. And on the blue line, we now have Vatnin and is going to get a plus. Yeah, you can't get a plus unless you have an X Factor. That's crazy. Ferentz, McEwen, Willsby, and Gravel. All right. Power play. All right, so I got Thornton in there. I got Vatnin. Uh, I want you there, Vatnin. I want Kemmel on the power play, right wing. What handedness is Kemmel? He's right handed, so we'll put him on this side. Thornton with Kemmel. Um, and I need that power forward, James Neal. Bang. Very good. Leonard with Thornton, James Neal, and Kemmel. So Kemmel should get some points there. Second line power play. I'll uh, leave that the way it is. In fact, though, I'll take out Neal and I'll put in uh, LaRue. Where is he? Yeah, there you go. Changing current line just to get him some ice time. Minus three, though. Take off Schaller because he's a grinder. And I'll put in Evangelista. All right. So the second line power play is not going to be great, but oh well. Uh, Novak, what are you? Two way forward. So be it. Uh, four on four power play, don't care. Four on four power play, don't care. Uh, penalty kill, don't really care about this. LaRue is on the penalty kill. All right, good luck, my man. Jankowski, Schaller, although first line penalty kill. Yeah, you know what? No, you got to come out of there. I got to put Jankowski in there instead of you, LaRue. All right, we got to, because I got to protect, uh, what's his name? Got to protect our goaltender. I'll put a LaRue on the second line power play. Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, penalty kill number three, don't care. Three-man penalty kill, Novak, LaRue. Let me just get, uh, what's his name in there? Uh, I'll get Schaller in there, Grinder. Sure. And then Jankowski on the third. It's perfect. Extra lines, don't care. Goaltenders, Askarov, you're the guy. Scratch players, good. All right, so we have taken our time and we have edited the lines. Down here in the AHL, we got Joaquin Kemmel, um, Luke Evangelista, and Zachary LaRue. We have three forward pieces that we're trying to grow. Uh, defensively, we have nothing. And we have a goaltender that we are trying to turn into our next starting goalie in the NHL in Askarov. And the NHL, Saros and Lankinen. Uh, 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 Forsberg, Duchesne, Tolvanen at a plus five. Granny Smith, Johnson, Niederreiter. Sissons, Trennan, Tomasino we're trying to grow. Janot, uh, Glass, Sanford. Defense, Ekholm, Roman Yossi, McDonough, Fabro, Lausanne, and Carrier. We're ready to go. So I got my scouts. We've taken a look at the NHL. I've asked you guys the questions, but we want to end the video on some simulation, real-time sim. We can even jump into a game as well. But I want to get a good month in to just see how our team is actually simulating, all right? So let's get to game number one of the regular season up against the San Jose Sharks, ladies and gentlemen. How do we do during uh, uh, preseason as well? Player on waivers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we, I think we were 3-4 and four in preseason. It's a little bit of small of a sample um, of a sample limit or sample. Shit, I don't even know what word I'm looking for. It's not long enough, basically, to be able to tell how good we're going to sim. But here we go. We got the start of the NHL season. I actually want to simulate this game. All right, so opening night in Nashville. Sim the game. Let's see how this all plays out for us, all right? First period. Yeah, baby. Granny Smith opening up the goal scoring. Sample size. Appreciate it, guys. Second period. Ooh, tied up by Lindblom. So we got a tie Going into the third period, let's do the real-time simulation just so I can get used to this again. Times eight. I think if I hit X, I can also pause it. If it gets to the... Oh, Tolvanen! There you go! Tolvanen on the first line. You don't need a rider on the second line. And the Nashville Predators have the lead. Granny Smith, they explode for three in the third period on front of their fans. And that should be more than enough to get the victory. Oh, yeah, Sanford. Keep pouring it on. San Jose shocks a garbage. Lukunen gets them back within three. That's not going to be enough. We definitely scored. We definitely scored enough. 
That's going to be all she wrote for the San Jose Sharks on opening night. The Nashville Predators get off to a good start. All right, perfect. Perfect. So let's go... Um, Let's do a bit of a real simulation here. I'll get down to the Edmonton game at Edmonton, and hopefully I can get a game where we can actually jump in and watch it, and that'll be the uh, the last thing that we do in this video, all right? So let's just do a real sim, and let's see how our team looks. We win the second game, 7-5. to 6-4 to four loss against Dallas, 6-3 to three win against Dallas. All right, so we're opening up back-to-back -back, uh, against two different teams. 3-2 loss against LA, a 4-0 victory over Columbus. Uh, okay, so Roland McEwen has gone down with an injured sh shoulder. I'll just replace him. St. Louis, that's a 5-1 victory. Okay, so we're back and forth. We're definitely in Tweenersville. Win-win against a shitty San Jose team. A loss against a good Dallas Star team, but a win against them as well. A loss against the above 500 LA, uh, uh, I was going to say Laker, <laughs> LA King team. Uh, we beat the sub-500 team. We lose to a 500 team. We beat a good team, and we lose to a good team. So we're all over the place right now. We're all over the place. Can't really tell much. So, um, yeah. Let's take a look at some of the stats from our team and see if we can figure out any uh, any kind of, uh, uh, what's it called? Any kind of patterns that are happening right now. Philip Forsberg is doing good, just not scoring goals. <laughs> That's all right. I got him as the shooter on our power play. He doesn't have a single power play goal. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. So, Philip Forsberg, a minus one, but 11 points. Tolvanen, yes. Tolvanen has nine goals? Holy shit. I should turn him into the shooter on the power play. All right, Tolvanen. All right, my man. Well, we get him scoring like that. This guy's going to jump in the biggest of ways. What's his contract like? Two years left. I can't even sign into an extension just yet. Oh, that could be trouble in the future. Uh, Matt Duchesne having a great year. Ryan Johansson, good. Tomasino. Tomasino's fine. Five points in nine games play. That's fine for me. Cody Glass. We're looking fine. The forward quarter looking fine. Uh, Blue line plus. Ooh, Carrier and Luzon are not liking playing with one another. All right. Now, maybe we could trade away Luzon. He had a pretty bad contract. Offensive defenseman. Yeah, because the other guys are keeping the puck out of the net, but those guys minus three. What about our goaltender situation? Uh, UC Soros. UC Soros not having a good season so far. 900 save percentage with a 325 goals against average. Our backup goalie, even though we got the two wins, he didn't provide much either. Oof, not good. Not good. What about Askarov in the AHL? Ooh, 913, 219? Like to see it. <laughs> All right, so we got to think that our team is playing pretty well, but UC Soros ain't getting it done. So how do we turn that around? Now, remember our head coach. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Before we take a look at this, remember our head coach. And I've, become, I've begun to uh, look at this a lot more. Our head coach was fantastic at scoring goals. A plus for offense. Our defense is only B. Our penalty kill is good. So maybe that's why, you know, we're not getting the, the minuses. Uh, because we're actually keeping, well, it wouldn't matter then because you're actually keeping the puck out of the net. But our 5v5, our defense is only B. Okay, interesting. So that's that's hurting us. We're not keeping the puck out of the net. Now let me go back to the team stats here for a second. Uh, Philip Forsberg, hang on a second. Uh, team stats. Um, all right, so we'll just look at our division just so it's easier, all right? Uh, goals four per game. We are second. So we're scoring goals. Tomasino with, um, with uh, or sorry, Tolvanen with Duchesne and Forsberg are doing a great job. Goals against per game, we are the third worst as well. So we're not keeping the puck out of the net, but we are scoring goals. Power play percentage. Power play is looking good, 23.5. Penalty kill percentage, it's actually looking fine, 81.8. It's, it's actually not that bad. These other teams are going to come back down to earth. Like, Chicago is in third at 83.3. It's, it's, it's our 5v5. Our 5v5 defense is just not there for us. So, let's, let's do a little bit more simulating. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much that we need to do here. Let's go, let's go another month. Let's go another month, and then we'll, we'll finish with some simulating. Maybe against the New Jersey Devils, or if something big happens, all right? So, let's continue the simulation. 5-4 loss to Edmonton. Ooh-ooh. Uh-oh. Roland McEwen is back. I want to put him back in the lineup on defense in the AHL. I think he replaced, uh, or he was replaced by... Hang on a second. Thompson, McEwen, get your ass right back in there. There you go, my man. Oh, playable injury. Oh, no. Please don't get injured again. Please don't get injured again. I think he's okay. Good. Ooh, losing games here. What What the? What the? What the? Oh, what? 
Oh, so if I come back from the AHL, it might be glitched where it doesn't even show it. All right, so we find a new bug. It was only because I was on the AHL for moving McEwen. So it, 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 I guess it read it like I was on the AHL screen. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. New game, new glitch. Uh, so that's a loss. That's a win. That's a win. That's a, that's a three-game winning streak. That's four out of the uh, four out of the last five. But there's two losses right there. Nine and seven. It's just uh, the regulation losses are piling up. That's what I don't like. I don't like the regulation losses. Shootout loss. Another reg loss. Another reg loss. Yikes. Nashville player UC Sorrow has been injured with an injured thumb. His estimated return is November 30th. Roster moves. Should we give Askarov his first career NHL start right now, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see, Askarov, 66 overall. Let's do it. Let's give the. Is he on a two way contract? He's on a two way contract. We can get away with it. Let's do it. Let's bring him up. Bang! We're bringing him up. Uh, edit lines. Uh, edit NHL lines. I got this. Sign a goalie? No, no, no. No, he was injured with an injured hand. It's not going to be long. He'll be fine. Uh, Soros will be back before we know it, so I won't have to change much. And then Cooley down there, I'll just put Vomaka in. Boom, no problem. All right, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. stop the sim! No! Uh, ah! I wanted to see his first game. Oh, was that his first game? Did he play? Shit! I didn't think about that. The simulation continued. No, wait a minute. I wanted to see Askarov's first game. Maybe it put him as a backup, though, because it was simulating. Hang on. Oh, no. No! <laughs> His first game in the NHL. It's horrible. Oh, games played. Did he start the game? I think he did. He definitely started the game. Damn it, man. Goof, you goof. Whatever. He's starting another one. He's starting another one, all right? This is going to be his real first game. Up against the Columbus Blue Jackets. He's getting back-to-back -back starts. <laughs> Let's see what we got, all right? First period. Ooh, two goals in on Askarov. Patrick Laine and Gustav Nyquist not looking good. Second period. Oh, man, another two goal. He's not ready for the NHL, boys. What have you done? You told me to bring him up. He's not ready. Uh, third period. Oh, we get three. Let's in another two. Come on, Askarov. Damn. Get him back out of there. <laughs> Send him back down. <laughs> Sim to next game. Let's see if uh, UC Saros comes back. Uh, Gabriel Carlson is being put on waivers. Uh, view player info. Let's see. 76 overall, medium top four. Could play in the AHL, but I already have, like, I don't have much room, so I'm just going to decline. I'm just going to decline that. All right, so UC Soros is back to the lineup. Perfect. So it didn't hurt us too much. Uh, uh, Askarov, get back down there. Uh, yeah, get back down there, Askarov. You screwed the pooch, buddy. I gave you two chances in the NHL, and you screwed it up. <laughs> Oh, man. That might have been a bad idea. His, I stunted his growth. All right, so UC is back in there. But you know what? He is injured, so I'll start Lankinen. Uh, and then the AHL. Get uh, get uh, Askarov back in there. There you go, Askarov. Don't worry, my man. You'll get used to the, N a the NHL eventually. Uh, man, that is weird. When I come back, yeah, that is definitely a new glitch. All right, so we, are, we have now fallen below 500 in the last few games. Yeah, we're on like a losing streak right now. Let's see. And that's a loss, 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 loss. Damn. Seven-game losing streak after we were winning games. That injury to UC Soros. But also, we were losing games before then. So I think it's a perfect time to stop it up. Let's get one more game of simulation. Maybe we could jump in to watch actual gameplay, see how it looks, all right? So, damn, man. Tweenersville. Preds are a joke. Yeah, man. Well, I, I told you. I I'm telling you. This is a good team to select. But I also think it's our head coach. I think our head coach is not great. It's not Barry Trotz anymore. First period. Yes, Nashville. Ryan Johansson. We're pretty good in the real-time simulation when we have a goalie in there. Second period. All right. All tied up at ones. Let's get this third period underway. Times eight simulation. Bang. Third period underway in Nashville. I'd love to jump in like the last five minutes if it's a close game or something. Power play for the Nashville Predators goes nowhere. They can't score. UC Saros and John Gibson. Doing a great job. Look at the shot total in favor of the Anaheim Ducks. My God. All right, so let's stop it there. Four minutes to go. Let's end this first video with some gameplay. So here, what the hell? Where's the audio? What the hell? The fans weren't even talking there for a minute. Whatever. We're in third period, all tied up. I'm in coach mode, actually, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot about this. So I can edit the lines ourselves. So um, when we get to the playoffs, eventually, I don't know if it's going to be this year or not. This is what we do in overtime games. We always like to watch the teams play. So uh, we got to get the right tuner settings and all that. But let's see if there's any changes to the AI and how it plays. 
All right, so we got three and a half minutes here before the end of the game. Then we got three on three overtime. Man, look at Nashville. Three guys on the blue line. It's not going to be enough, though. Woo! Tomasino, go! I got my third line out there, it looks like. Go, Colton Sissons. Around the outside. Man, is it? There's the fans. Why do the fans only click in now? What the hell is going on? Sissons! Oh, quick shot. Gibson with the save. <laughs> Did you guys only hear the, the, what's it called? The crowd kick in now? What the hell, EA Sports? All these new glitches. Points. Team leaders. Philip Forsberg leading our team in points. That's cool. I gotta jump into games a little bit more to see this. Face off. Up against Trevor Zegers. Come on, Ryan O'Hanson. Nice try. Oh, couldn't get it done. Troy Terry coming back the other way for the Anaheim Ducks. Cut to the inside. Silverberg drops it there for Klinberg. Zegers on the backhand. Good save by UC Soros. Zegers, though, gets it back. Fowler, Silverberg, Zegers, centering pass. What a save by Soros. Jesus, Trevor Zegers just sent one across the crease. All right, I got to get my second line out there. Yeah, second. What a freaking pass by Zegers right there, boys. Face off in the defensive end. I got Ryan Johansson. Oh, he's going to lose it. But Niederreiter picks it up off the wing. Franny Smith, across the red line, across the blue line, on the left wing, looking, trying to find somebody. He sends a pass into the middle, goes nowhere. And come, and here comes the Anaheim Ducks back the other way. Petrano, he's going to find, is that, who is that, Ryan Strom? Dylan Strom? I think it's D Dylan Strom, right? I have no clue. McDonough, up to Ryan Johansson. Ryan Johansson is going to find Granny Smith, Gr Granny Smith dangling. Shot, good save by uh, John Gibson right there. Real good save. Oh, it's back and forth. Who's got the game winner on their stick? We're going to three-on-three -three overtime, maybe? Ryan Stroh. It's Ryan Stroh. All right. Frank Catano. Ryan Johansson. Pick up that puck. Max Jones. Back to Klinberg. The other defenseman's tell him to shoot. That's a freaking big opportunity for the Preds. Rick Johansson loose. Try to take a shot. Good save by Gibson. An odd man rush. Man, you barely see that in previous games. The AI is looking different. Uh, can I change the lines? Man, it's so quick. I didn't get the change in time. Hopefully my first line is out there. Yeah, let's put the pressure up. Let's get the pressure up. Aggressive. Yeah, no no more trapping. Let's press. Let's press. Let's get up there and score a goal. I don't want them to get the extra point. Troy Terry off the right wing. Cutting through. Troy Terry in! Good save by UC Soros. As Troy Terry basically runs over our goaltender as well. Damn, dude. Can't wait for some absolute clown goal to decide the game. <laughs> I'm thinking that we're going to go to overtime. And maybe even a shootout. Who knows? Zegris. Face off one. By Anaheim. Kulikov to Silverberg. Silverberg turning back. Finds Troy Terry. Back to Silverberg. Tries to take a quick shot. Oh, no. Don't let Zegris down low in Gretzky's office. Kulikov shot. It hits a stick right into UC Soros' glove. Man, we can't win a face off. Duchesne, are you good at face offs? What the hell? Let's get Roman Yossi out there. If he wins the puck, we've got to be able to scatter it out of the zone with it. Defenseman stood there like a cone. Nice. Cover boy overrated. <laughs> Imagine the computer did the Michigan on me. Oh, jeez. That'd be hilarious. Kulikov. Get on him. Get on him. There you go. Get on him. Poke it off and do something. Lundstrom. Get in there, Duchesne. Oh, Henrique. Back to Shattenkirk. Back to Kulikov. Big shot blocked in front. Lundstrom. Quick rebound. We can't get the puck out of the zone. The Anaheim Ducks have got us hemmed in right now. What the hell? They keep winning every single freaking face-off. We can't take the puck off him. Adam Henrique, he's unstoppable. Face-off again. Yes! Roman Yossi's got it. All right, echo him. All right, there you go, boys. Break that puck out. Forsberg, he's going to find Tolvanen. Tolvanen gets in on the body. I like to see it. Tolvanen using that body. Hey, he's, he's a body checker, is Tolvanen. Good. You can learn from Forsberg. Duchesne to Tolvanen. Tolvanen! What? Oh, oh my god! Tolvanen! He's the real deal! He might be the goal scoring lead in the NHL. He just dangled to the inside and shot a freaking blocker side! Holy crap! Tolvanen! The future of the net. 15 goals on the season already for Eli Tolvanen. What a move! Holy shit! He's just danced around John Gibson. The Twitch chat's loving it as well. 15th goal? Yep. He is third in the league! Tolvanen behind Ovechkin and Tavares! Alright. So our coach is helping us to score goals. We just got to keep the puck out of the net somehow. Duchesne, uh, uh, what's his name? Duchesne, Forsberg, and Tolvanen. They're looking great together. Uh-oh. Come on now, get it out, Forsberg. There you go. Tolvanen to Yossi. Roman Yossi, Roman Yossi, come on. You're getting paid $9 million per year, you franchise defenseman. Roman Yossi, no! Trevor Zegers. They're pulling their goaltender now, ladies and gentlemen. 
The Anaheim Ducks are pulling the goaltender. They're yoinking him. Tolvin in again. Tolvin in making moves. What a pass. Forsberg. Bang! And the Nashville Predators are going to get the win. Tolvin in with an assist. Multiple points here in the end of the third period for Tolvi. Only his fourth goal of the season. Man, I thought he'd be the goal scorer on that line. He's supposed to take all the shots. <laughs> he jumped up the list. Way to go, boys. 36 seconds left, and we got that two-goal advantage. Eli is better than Gretzky. That effing mustache. I know, right? Oh, are we taking a penalty now? Oh, man, we're going to make it interesting, are we? Here come the Ducks. You know, I'm actually interested to see how the AI play uh, on the power play here. <laughs> what are they going to do? What was it, a tripping call? Yep. Two minutes for tripping on Ryan Johansson. You bum, Ryan Johansson. You have one job to do. It's the end of the game. Just kill the clock. It takes a freaking penalty. The second worst thing that you can do. All right. We got to win that faceoff clean. Get it down the ice. Faceoff one. Silverberg. Oh. Let's see what they do. Troy Terry. Silverberg trying to cut into the middle. Yep, they still play like they always used to play. They have six players out there. They couldn't do shit with it. Silverberg. Troy Terry. <laughs> they still can't do shit with it. Cody Glass. Get it in. Yeah. Shattenkirk to Drysdale. Up to Vertrano. Vertrano into the middle. Silverberg shot. UC Soros with the glove save. There's not going to be any adventure here. Good job, UC. Way to go. Way to effing go. Just kill it off now. This would be a, a perfect game for us to win after our losing streak. Only one goal against. I like it. And they had how many shots this game? Yeah, I know. They outshot us like crazy. Ekholm gets it all the way down the ice. And there you go. So that's it. Uh, I was going to say that's it, Anaheim. That's it, Nashville. That's our first episode of our Nashville Predators GM Mode commentary. We have been thorough. We have gone through the team. And now it's up to the fans on Twitch and on YouTube to convince GM Superbman what we should do. Do we load up? Do we make trades? Do we try to acquire players who are in their late 20s, early 30s to go on this ride for the next two to three years? Or do we start flipping players? Do we just go further into the season and realize, you know what, we're not making the playoffs and start flipping guys for prospects and first round picks? Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in episode number two.